The Bible says you should love a wonderful creator with all your heart, soul, and might. Over and over again, this is the underlining message of Scripture. When it comes to obedience to our Creator, if we love Him, we will keep His commandments, is what it says. You shall love our Creator. There are so many reasons to follow the guidelines and instructions of our Creator. And we must understand as we think about sin and think about the things that our Creator dislikes, the things that He hates, and the things that He speaks against over and over again in Scripture, these are the things we must avoid. As believers, these are the things we must hate. We must learn to love the things He loves and hate the things that He hates. Now, there's many different ways to word this and talk about this, but the underlining message of Scripture is we must do our best to avoid sin. We can get into the reasons why we should do that, and there are many, many wise reasons why we should avoid sin. Our Creator lays out in His Word what sin is, and our Creator pleads with us. Our Creator tells us. Our Creator asks us over and over and over again throughout the Bible, do your best to avoid sin. The fact that we have a Messiah in Yeshua, the one they call Jesus, to help us when we mess up, when we fail, is not an excuse to keep living in sin or think it's okay. Many people that call themselves believers don't even read the whole Bible and have not been given the idea to understand that sin is living as opposed to the suggestions, the will, and the commandments that God has for us. So we have a choice to make. Are we going to study the Word? Are we going to understand the definition of sin? Are we going to look at the Bible and see how our Creator wants us to live and follow Him? Or are we going to make excuses, changing around teachings and words and saying, Paul said we no longer need to follow this commandment, or today's times we don't need to follow this, or that was for Israel or the Jewish people? Or are we going to do what the Scriptures ask us to do in the Word, to love a wonderful Creator? with all your heart, fully. And if that is so, we should desire to do what He wants us to do and live how He wants us to live. There are many places in the world today that will change the word, obey, or keep, or be blessed with the word law. And they'll use the excuse saying, we are no longer under the law, so we don't have to do that. The truth is, we don't have to do anything. We could live how we want to live. We could do what we want to do. But some of those things are going to get us in great danger. And our Creator loves us more than anyone you could ever imagine. And He wants the best for us. And in Him wanting the best for us, He gave us the guidelines and instructions of what to follow and how to live. And just because we don't understand why He gave us that commandment or that instruction is not an excuse or a reason for us not to keep it. If we trust Him with all our heart, we need to follow Him with all our heart, regardless if we understand why He asked us to do something. We can learn a great lesson from our own children. We want what's best for them. Even if they don't understand why we're asking them to do something, it's still going to be best for them to do it. We have more experience than them, and our Creator has more experience than us. He is way smarter than we are. And if He's asked us in His Word, to do something or not to do something, if you believe in His Word and if you believe in Him, why would you not do it? There's a lot of deception out there. There's spiritual warfare out there. There's a lot of misteachings out there, misguiding out there. But none of those are excuses and will help us avoid the consequences of living against our Creator's instructions. We need to understand the importance of obedience to our Creator. Whether you want to say you're not under the law or you're not Jewish or you don't have to follow this commandment, but you can follow that commandment. These are choices that should be a great concern to somebody who says they love our Creator with all their heart and they will do what He says. Remember, when the children of Israel were on their way out of Egypt, they were promised that they will do all that Moses told them to do via our Creator. And when they followed and listened to that, they were blessed greatly. But when they went against that, against those guidelines and instructions, that's where trouble happened. It's no different today. 
when we confess Yeshua as our Messiah, when we say we are going to believe, and when we follow, that puts us in the best place possible. This isn't a teaching about grace versus law. This isn't a teaching about who gets salvation and who doesn't. This is a teaching about if you love our Creator, why would you not follow Him all the way through? It's not to make it harder. It's to make it easier. We have to decide who we're going to listen to. There are many laws in your local city, in your state, and in the government that you follow every day. Whether you're driving in your car, not passing a red light or a stop sign, or whether you're keeping the speed limit, all of these laws that you're following on a regular day, you think you're just not breaking them because you don't want to get a fine and you don't want to pay a lot of money. But the real reason you're keeping these is because they make sense to you and you don't want to get yourself in an accident. Well, our Creator didn't give us these guidelines and instructions, these commandments, these so-called laws to make our lives harder. He gave them to us because He loves us and He wants us to follow them to keep our lives in the best place possible. He even warns us in the Scriptures. He calls obedience blessings and disobedience curses. He gives us examples over and over again in the Scripture of how the people were blessed when they listened and how the people were cursed when they didn't. There are consequences to living against the guidelines and instructions of our Creator. We all have to decide for ourselves who we want to follow and who we want to listen to and what we want to do. I suggest it's time we stop making excuses for continuing to live against our guidelines and instructions of our Creator, which is considered sin, and start getting in line with his word. It says in the scriptures in James 4.17, to know good and not do it to him, it is sin. Well, if we read his word, we will know what good is. And then we'll have a choice. And as the scriptures say, today I give before you life versus death. Choose life so you may live. Remember the people back then when they heard that, they answered not a word. We all have that choice. Am I saying breaking the guidelines and instructions of our Creator or living in sin is going to lead to our immediate death? No. But the Scriptures talk about a physical death and an everlasting life. And the Scriptures talk about the wonderful grace of our wonderful Messiah. And the Scriptures talk about what truly brings salvation. But over and over and over again in the Bible, it talks about when we follow our Creator, we'll be blessed or safe, or however you want to word that. But when we continue to live in sin, when we continue to go against the guidelines and instructions of our Creator, we are going to get certain consequences that we wouldn't have if we did follow Him. And one of those consequences is a physical death. It doesn't happen every time, but sometimes the result is a physical death because we're doing stuff that's putting us in great danger. And if it's not a physical death immediately, it's going to be a really a dangerous place. It could be an injury. It could be uh, a worldly disaster. We must understand the, the, the consequences and the danger we put ourselves in when we decide to live our own way. The scriptures say there's a way before each person that seems right but ends in death. We're all going to die physically. Many of this is talking about our eternal life. We have to make the decision of what we're going to do and who we're going to follow. And you can't redefine what his word says. If his word says, do this, you do it. If it says, don't do this, don't do it. Don't add your reasoning and your excuses to his holy word like so many people attempt to do. As your brother, I care for you. And I don't want you to make the mistakes so many people continue to make by deciding to live against the guidelines and instructions of our creator. Our Creator says that He wants us to have a good, blessed, long life of peace and shalom. Peace and shalom. When you love Him with all your heart, mind, and soul, that's the position you're putting yourself in. It doesn't mean things aren't going to happen and you're not going to have struggles or you're not going to have uh, things to overcome in your life. 
but you are going to have a peace and shalom where you're going to be able to sleep at night and get a good night's sleep. I pray this message is helping you realize it's time to dig deep in Scripture and to realize and find and see how our Creator wants us to live, what He wants us to do, and that we would do it. We would follow Him. Have a blessed day. Praise Yah and Shalom Shalom. Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. 